Hello students, let's do rational numbers exercise 2D. This is on page number 39 and we are with question 8. The product of two numbers is 14. If one of the numbers is minus 8 by 7, find the other. So we have been given the product of two numbers and we have been given one number. Product means when you multiply, the answer that you get is called product. So we have multiplied two numbers and we've got the answer. The answer is given and one number is given. We have to find the other number. So let's begin. The product of two numbers is given to us. It's 14 and one of the numbers is also given to us. It's minus 8 by 7. Let the other number be x. So here what does it say? Product of two numbers is 14, isn't it? So one number is given to us. So that is minus 8 by 7. When we multiply this by the other number, which we are going to call x, the answer that we are going to get is 14. Now we have to find the other number that is x. x will be equal to 14. Now this is like an equation. So 14 we have here. Now we are going to transpose minus 8 by 7 to the other side. And the operation here is multiplication. So when it goes to the other side, the operation changes to division and minus 8 by 7, minus 8 by 7. So now we're going to find the value of x. Now this is division. So remember, we know how to do division. So now first let's write 14 by 1. Division will change to multiplication and minus 8 by 7. We will write the reciprocal so that becomes 7 by minus 8. Now here let's see if we can cancel something. Now we can cancel 8 and 14. Both are even numbers so both are divisible by 2. So let's do that. 2 4s are 8 so that will be minus 4 and 2 7s are 14. Now that's all. We can't cancel anything else. So we're going to multiply the numerator 7 into 7. 7 7s are 49 and the denominator is minus 4. So we have found the value of x. x is equal to minus 49 by 4. Minus 49 by 4. That means the other number. We have been asked to find the other number, isn't it? Find the other. And we have found the other number and that is minus 49 by 4. Question 9. The cost of 11 pence is 24, 3 by 4 rupees. Find the cost of one pen. So whenever the cost of many, that is 11, is given and you are asked to find the cost of one, then it is a division word problem. So let's begin the statements. First statement, the cost of 11 pence is 24, 3 by 4 rupees. The cost of one pen, to find the cost of one pen, we have to divide. So here, what do we have to divide? We have to divide 24, 3 by 4 by 11. So let's do this division. So the first step is we have to do the conversion here. So we have to convert 24, 3 by 4 into an improper fraction. So multiply 24 by 4. So let's multiply 24 by 4. 4 4s are 16, carry 1. 4 2s are 8 plus 1, 9. Then we add 3. We have to add this numerator 3 to it. So what do we get? 9 and 9, 99. So here, uh, improper a fraction will be 99 by 4 divided by 11 and we'll give it the denominator 1. So this is division which will change to multiplication. So the first rational number remains the same. Division changes to multiplication. 11 by 1 becomes 1 by 11. Now let's see what we can cancel here. We can cancel 99 and 11. So 11 1s are 11 and 11 9s are 99. So what do we have here after multiplying, after cancelling? Now let's multiply the numerators. That will be 9 1s are 9 and the denominators 4 into 1, 4 1s are 4. So we get 9 by 4. 9 by 4 is an improper fraction. So let's convert it to a mixed number. Divide 9 by 4. 4 2s are 8 minus we get 1. So here our improper fraction is 2 1 by 4. So we have been asked to find the cost of 1 pen. So the cost of 1 pen since its cost our unit is rupees. Cost of 1 pen is 2 1 by 4 rupees. Question 10. If 6 identical articles can be bought for rupees 2 6 by 70, find the cost of each article. 
So once again, here we've been given the cost of six articles and we've been asked to find the cost of each article. That means one article. So whenever the cost of many is given and you're asked to find the cost of one, it is a division word problem. So let's begin our statements. Cost of six identical articles is given to us and this is rupees 2, 6 by 17. So to find the cost of each article, we have to divide 2, 6 by 17 by 6. So the first step here is conversion. So let's convert 2, 6 by 17 into an improper fraction. So 17 into 2 is 34. 34 plus 6 is 40. So here we get 40 by 17 divided by 6 by 1. Now, this is a division sum, so we're going to work it out. The first rational number remains the same, 40 by 17. Division changes to multiplication. 6 by 1 becomes 1 by 6. Now, let's cancel. We can cancel 6 and 40. Both are even numbers, so they are divisible by 2. 2 3s are 6, and 2 into 20 is 40. Now, there's nothing else that we can cancel, so we're going to multiply the numerators. 20 into 1 is 20, and the denominator 17 into 3. 17 into 3 is 51. So, now we have found the cost. So, cost means the unit is rupees. Cost of each article, that is rupees 20 by 51. Question 11. By what number should minus 3 by 8 be multiplied so that the product is minus 9 by 16. So we have been given the product and we have been given one number. We have to find the other number. So let's write what's given to us. The product of two numbers is minus 9 by 16 given to us. One of the numbers is minus 3 by 8. So let the other number be x. So that is when we multiply minus 3 by 8 by when we multiply this with x, we should get minus 9 by 16. So this is an equation as you can see, the equal to sign, the left hand side and the right hand side. So to find x, we'll keep it on the left hand side and we'll transpose this to the right hand side. So let's find the value of x. So x will be equal to minus 9 by 16. That will remain as it is. Now here we have minus 3 by 8. We are going to move this to the right hand side. So before we move, let's see the operation here. It's multiplication. That means when it moves to the right hand side, it's going to become division. So let's put the division symbol and we're going to uh, divide minus 3 by 8. So that is minus 3 by 8. So we are dividing this. So here let's find the value of x now by simplifying this. So minus 9 by 16, division changes to multiplication. Minus 3 by 8, we'll write it as 8 by minus 3, the reciprocal. Now, what can we cancel? We can cancel the two minus signs because one is in the numerator, one is in the denominator. Then we can cancel 3 and 9. 3 ones are 3 and 3 threes are 9. We can also cancel 8 and 16 both by 8 itself. 8 ones are 8 and 8 twos are 16. Now, let's multiply what's in the numerator. 3 ones are 3 and in the denominator we have 2 ones are 2. 3 by 2, which is an improper fraction, will convert it to a mixed number. So, 2 ones are 2 minus, we have 1 here. So, what do we have? 1, 1 by 2. So, we have found the answer. By what number should minus 3 by 8 be multiplied so that the product is minus 6, 9 by 16? 1 by, 1 by 2 is the number. So this is our answer. This is a number that should be multiplied with minus 3 by 8 to get minus 9 by 16. So you can check your work. You can multiply this and minus 3 by 8 and your answer should be minus 9 by 16. Question 12. By what number should minus 5 by 7 be divided so that the result or the quotient is minus 15 by 28? Okay, so let's begin with what is given to us. The quotient of two numbers is minus 15 by 28. One number is given to us, minus 5 by 7. Now we have to find the other number. That means when you divide according to the question, by what number should minus 5 by 7 be divided according to that? Minus 5 by 7 
what should this be divided with? So we're going to call it x so that our result will be minus 15 by 28. Now here you need to be careful. When it is division, we are going to work out the left hand side first. Okay, so this will be minus 5 by 7 divided by, we're going to say x by 1. This is equal to minus 15 by 28. So this, let's solve it. Minus 5 by 7 by, minus 5 by 7, division changes to multiplication. x by 1 becomes 1 by x. Now this is equal to minus 15 by 28. So now we're going to leave the x on the left hand side, that is 1 by x. 1 by x is equal to minus 15 by 28. Now we can transpose. Now that it has become multiplication, we can transpose minus 5 by 7 to the right hand side. So uh, multiplication becomes division now and we write minus 5 by 7 there. So what do we have here? Divided by minus 5 by 7. So now let's work this out. So this is equal to 1 by x is equal to minus 15 by 28. Division changes to multiplication. Minus 5 by 7, we will write it as 7 by minus 5. So here what can be cancelled? We can cancel the minus signs. We can cancel 5 and 15. 5 1s are 5 and 5 3s are 15. We can cancel 7 and 28. 7 1s are 7 and 7 4s are 28. So here this is equal to when you multiply 3 1s are 3 and here 4 1s are 4. 3 by 4. So here 1 by x. 1 by x is equal to 3 by 4, isn't it? Now, we need to find the value of x. To find the value of x, we have to put x in the numerator. That is, we write the reciprocal. So, that will become x by 1. So, if we make it the reciprocal here, on the right-hand side also, we write the reciprocal. So, now we have found the value of x by 1 or simply x is equal to 4 by 3. And 4 by 3 is an improper fraction. So, let's make it a mixed number. 3 ones are 3 minus 1. So we get 1, 1 by 3. So we have found the value of x which is equal to 1, 1 by 3. So what is x? Look at the question. By what number should minus 7 be divided? So this number that minus 7 should be divided with is 1, 1 by 3. Question 13. Evaluate. So let's do this. Let's solve what is within the brackets here. Let's simplify this. So the first bracket is 32 by 15 plus 8 by 5. So here this is addition. So let's find the LCM of the denominators, 15 and 5. So let's do this with 5 itself. 5 threes are 15, 5 ones are 5. Continue with 3 this time. 3 ones are 3 and 1. So the LCM is 5 into 3, which is 15. So the LCM is 15, which we are going to use here as a common denominator. So this is 15. So let's multiply. 15 into 1 is 15. So 32 into 1 is 32. Plus 5 into what is 15? 5 into 3 is 15. So we multiply 8 into 3. 8 threes are 24. So now we have to add up 32 plus 24. Let's do that. 32 plus 24. 4 plus 2 is 6, 3 plus 2 is 5. So here we get 56 by 15. So we have finished working what is within the first set of brackets. So now let's go on to the second set. So this is divided by, this should be divided by 32 by 15 minus 8 by 5. So here again the denominators are 15 and 5. So the LCM is already done. So it is 15. So here let's write 15 as the common denominator and here just like what we got on the left hand side here 32 plus 24 here also we have 15 into 1 is 15 so 32 into 1 is 32 so we get back 32 here this time it's subtraction 32 minus 5 into 3 is 15 and so 8 into 3 is 24 so this is 32 minus 24 so this time let's subtract 32 minus 24. 
So here we borrow 12 minus 4 is 8. So here we get 8. So this is 8 by 15. So we have 56 by 15. This is equal to 56 by 15 divided by 8 by 15. This is what is given to us in the question. So let's continue. 56 by 15. Division changes to multiplication. 8 by 15 becomes 15 by 8. Now let's see what we can cancel. We can cancel 15 and 15. Both are divisible by 15 itself. We can also cancel 8 and 56. 8 ones are 8. 8 sevens are 56. So now what do we have in the numerator? We have 7. Denominator we have 1. 7 by 1 is equal to 7. So this is our answer. 7 is the answer to question 13. Question 14. Seven equal pieces are made out of a rope of 21 5 by 7 meters. Find the length of each piece. So the length of a rope is 21 5 by 7 meters. From this, seven equal pieces have been made and we've been asked to find the length of each piece. So let's begin with our statements. Length of a rope is 21 5 by 7 meters. This is given to us. We've also been told that the number of pieces made is 7. 7 pieces have been made. Length of each piece is what we've been asked to find. And to find the length of each piece, we have to divide 21, 5 by 7 meters divided by 7. So let's do this division. First step is we convert. So 7 into 21. So 21 into 7. 7 ones are 7, 7 twos are 14. Then we add 5 to it, plus 5. 7 plus 5 is 12, carry 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, 1. So that is 152. 152 by 7 divided by 7 by 1. Now let's do this division. 152 by 7, division changes to multiplication. 7 by 1 is 1 by 7. See if there's something that we can cancel here. There's nothing that we can cancel. So we're going to multiply the numerators. We get 152. And we're going to multiply the denominators. 7 sevens are 49. Now 152 by 49 is an improper fraction, isn't it? So let's convert this to a mixed number. So let's divide 152 by 49. Now we have to write the tables of 49 and get a number close to 152. So 49, let's try into 3. 3 9s are 27, carry 2. 3 4s are 12, 13, 14. This is the closest. So let's write this. 49 into 3 is 147. Let's subtract and see what we get. So here we borrow. So 12 minus 7 is 5. And here it is 0. So this can be written as a mixed number. Quotient is 3, that becomes a whole number. Remainder is 5, that becomes a numerator. And our denominator is 49. So now we have got our answer 3, 5 by 49. What have we found? We have found the length of each piece. Since it is length, we have to use the unit that's given to us in the question. So we are going to write meters. So the answer here is 3, 5 by 49 meters. So with this children, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you children.